Praise God. What a blessing to come your way one more time with the word of God. I've been asked by a lot of people to speak on um, subjects that relates to relationships and single people. And so I will uh, take the time to briefly share with um, single people from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse number 10. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse number 10 um, from the King James Version, if the iron be blunt and he do not wet the edge, then must he put to more strength. But wisdom is profitable to direct. Now, the single phase of life is a part of life that everybody would have to deal with at one point in time. So for those who are even married now, they've dealt with the single phase of life before. And so um, a lot of wisdom is needed during this, this time in a person's life, in an individual's life, um, to navigate, to direct, and um, also to actually go through this season well. Um, there's not a lot of information available in the church world um, to single people about how to manage this phase of their lives. So sometimes we meet a lot of problems. Um, in the years I've been a pastor, one of the simple things we've heard over and over and over again is that if somebody is single at a certain age and they are not married, uh, many times we assume it to be a case. And so it becomes a difficulty for the person going through the phase. And so I want to take time briefly and share with you what this single phase of your life is not. Then I'm going to share with you what this single phase of your life is so that you know how to deal with it. First of all, this single phase of your life is not a curse. And so I don't want you to think that you are cursed. You know, there's uh, some ancestral curse. There's some um, uh, curse following you. That is the reason why you are not married. And usually, this is one of the simple things we hear. And so we hear a lot of people talk about this. We hear a lot of people teach about this. Um, here in the church in Africa, there are a lot of teachings that come up about this, you know, where if you are a certain age, you are not married. People have special um, teachings. And um, we talk about spiritual marriage. We talk about... Um, um, all kinds of spirits that become responsible for a person not being married at a certain time. Now, as a spiritual person, I know this to be true, but it is not always the case. There are some people who are not married, and it is not because they are cursed. There are some people who are not married, and it is simply because God has a plan, God has a purpose, and it is not yet time for them. They have not yet met the right person person or what God is working on, it is not yet time for God to unveil what he's working on for them. And so this is one of the things you need to understand. So if you are at a certain age and you are not married, it doesn't necessarily mean you are cursed. Yes, there are times when people have spiritual issues that need to be dealt with altars that need to be dealt with, certain spiritual issues that need to be prayed over, you know, so that the person can move to the next level. But it is not always the case. In the years I've been a pastor, I know certain people who are very faithful people, who are very prayerful people, who are very God-loving people, who are, as I speak, not yet married. And this is not because they are still under a curse. Number two, this single phase of your life is not a time of frustration. Now, we see this a lot in a lot of our singles. Um, they become so frustrated that frustration leads them to desperation. And people want to get married at all costs. I've had certain teachings that say that... Um, it is better that you marry and have a child or children and the marriage fails so that you console yourself, you know, that at least in the, uh, during the time you were here on the earth, you had somebody and you also brought somebody into the world. But you know, that is not, as, um, that is not really God's design for our lives. That is not really God's design for marriage. You know, um, some people just want to become coupled they want to be in a marital relationship or in some sort of relationship because they detest the idea you know of being a certain age and not having anybody who they can call their personal person you know now i want you to escape that trap because this is not a time 
of frustration. This is not the time to allow yourself to be led into desperation. And I, I, in the years also, I've passed it. I've met people who would jump at the first person who comes along. And so they won't ask the necessary questions. They won't take time to build relationships. They won't take time to know the person. And as it were, they put the cart before the horse and this must not be the case and so the single phase of your life is not a time of frustration it is not also an indefinite and unexciting time when you are miserable actually if you know what to do with your life during the single phase it is not a miserable time in your life and it is it is also not an indefinite time because you know you are preparing for the next level of your life you are preparing for a relationship that is going to lead to marriage and so you are not waiting indefinitely and so it's very very important you know that because some people feel that pastor nobody's coming nobody's talking to me even a cat will not look at me twice even a dog will not look at me twice and when they get to that point people become desperate i want you to avoid that I want you to fight that also the fourth thing I want to share about the single phase of your life is that it's not a time when you are undecided about your plans for the future actually this this time of your life as a single person is not a time when you don't even have plans and you don't even know what your future must look like this is the time where you must have plans this is the time where you must know what you want your future to look like so i'll quickly get into the part of the teaching where i want to talk about what the single life this single phase of your life is number one it's a great blessing if you know how to handle it well it's a great blessing because if you know how to handle it well this could be a time of improving on yourself this could be a time of building on yourself this could be a time of bettering yourself this could be a time of upgrading yourself now i want you to understand that there are certain improvements certain upgrades you might want to make on yourself you can't make when you are in a certain kind of relationship and so it's important there are certain things you can only do as a single person but at a certain time in your life you will not be able to do and so it's a time of great blessing you know paul writes paul the apostle writes and he even writes about people who want to have a deeper relationship with the lord and he writes and he tells them that they are not to get married because even marriage he he, he writes can interfere with the consistency of their relationship with god now i want you to understand it is not everybody who can be in that space where they leave everything and everybody behind and they follow god alone but you see as a single person there's a certain quality of relationship you can have with god that you can't have in a relationship um, that is leading to marriage or even in marriage because a lot of things will change you know when you are by yourself for instance you can just decide you're putting your phone off you are not talking to anybody for the next hundred days you are waiting on the lord it's not anybody's problem but when you are in a relationship with somebody the person would want to talk to you the person would want to hear from you the person would want to know how you are doing in the same way when you uh, in that's in a relationship that is courtship or dating right and then also when you even move into marriage it's the same thing and so you realize that some of these simple things as a christian that you might want to do on your own without any hassle if you are in a relationship dating relationship courtship relationship uh, or even a marital relationship uh, a marriage relationship those things can be difficult for you the second thing also is that this time of your singleness is a time to discover yourself now it's important that you use this time well to discover yourself because you see when you discover yourself then you know clearly who to share yourself with one of the mistakes uh, a lot of singles make is that first of all they have not taken time to explore themselves they are what the, what excites them what they don't like what they um, i mean what they want to do where they want to be what they are uh, uh, where they want to live and all that people don't take time to explore all those things and so sometimes they find out in a dating relationship in a courting relationship or in marriage they discover a, a few new things about themselves and sometimes by the time the discovery is made it is too late 
by the time the discovery is made it is too late and so it's important during the time you are single that is the time you have to learn as much as you can about yourself i've in, in i've had situations as a pastor where people are ready for marriage they come for counseling and we ask basic questions maybe about their genotype and it is now that they have to go and find out and when they do the test they find out that they are not a match so they could marry if they want to but we will not advise them to and should they have children Children, it's going to be a problem for the children now these are things you do in the single phase of life and so instead of being desperate and acting like you are a lion you are wild chasing everything you see and everybody you see this is the time to take time to discover yourself and learn more about yourself learn about your strengths learn about your weaknesses learn about the things that excites you learn about the things you are interested in you know so that when you are moving into a dating relationship a courting relationship and also marriage you will know precisely who you can share yourself with the final thing i will teach today is that this single phase of your life is a time of planning a time of preparing for the future now i advise singles you must have a list you know now there are a lot of dating websites you could go and answer a lot of questions with your beloved you know discuss a lot of things with your beloved and have a lot of conversations now i i advise that during this time you must be planning during this time you must be preparing during this time you must be writing things down at least you must have a list who do you want in your life what must the person be like what uh would uh what should their faith uh what should they believe okay should they believe in god should they believe in stones and trees and rocks you should know all these things so that when you meet the person you are armed because you already have this plan and so when you talk to the person you know exactly what you're looking for unfortunately we have had situations where people meet people and they don't know what they are looking for now i want to teach you this last one because you see it is not everybody who get a shot at a lot of relationships actually in life some people will get a shot at very few relationships some will get a shot as just one relationship and so it must count every opportunity you get must count like a wise man said opportunity dances with the person that is ready on the dance floor and so you must always be prepared you must always be armed you must know what you want you must know what your future must look like and this will help you to avoid a lot of heartaches and a lot of heartbreaks you know especially for the ladies who keep complaining that you know pastor all the young men today are liars they are heartbreakers i feel if you know what you want when you meet a heartbreaker you will know that this is not what i'm looking for and you could avoid your heart being broken so that um you avoid some of the problems that are associated with the heartbreaks i pray that the lord will help you i pray that this information helps you and i pray that um, like the bible teaches in the book of ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 10 that this wisdom will help you to cut down the tree of relationship successfully god bless you so much